Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at the Dream Giveaway Garage and we have probably one of the most ultimate cars that they've ever given away. This is a 2019 Dodge Challenger Red Eye. What they're calling it though is the Red Eye Extreme because underneath this hood is a Magnuson supercharger that is producing over a thousand horsepower. But before we get into this, let's talk a little bit about Dodge and Mopar. So there's that saying that goes back all the way to the muscle car days, Mopar or no car. If you've ever wondered, well, what is Mopar? Mopar stands for motor parts. It was part of Dodge, the whole Chrysler Plymouth connection. With Mopar, that brings performance. Now, what's fascinating is the Challenger actually first hit the streets in 1970, right at the peak of that muscle car era, a name that is so synonymous with just burnouts, fast quarter mile times, and really just ripping down the strip. Now, another name that may sound familiar to a lot of you, if you are true Mopar fans, is a drag racer, probably one of the most iconic, Big Daddy Don Garlitz. Now, Big Daddy Don Garlitz, what's cool about him in relation to me and Rady's Rides is he originally is from the Tampa Bay area and he really cut his teeth on the quarter mile drag strip using nothing but Dodge and those Mopar products. What's awesome is, is that Big Daddy had the opportunity to be part of this build with Dream Giveaway Garage and he not only signed this vehicle but also had input on the performance of it and ran it down the quarter mile strip many a time. So this is a car that on many different levels is gonna be that ultimate Mopar vehicle. Now, Red Eye from the factory, we're talking about 797 horsepower, definitely plenty of power for most people, but here at Dream Giveaway Garage, they wanna make sure that you get the utmost in performance, thousand horsepower. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2019 Challenger Red Eye Extreme. Right off the bat, the styling. Thing, one thing that they decided to do was bring a little color. With the car being white and the flat black hood and roof and trunk lid, you're gonna bring in some nice bright red LEDs. I really like the way they worked it into the overall headlight design. Of course, with the Red Eye, you're gonna get those functional snorkels on both sides. On your regular Challenger, those are just headlights but on a performance vehicle like this, they've been hollowed out, and I think you would agree with me that the red just pops. As we come across the front section, the thing about the Challenger is that when we look at resto mods and we look at uh, you know, making a car look like it came from the past, but with today technology, it, I think they really hit that whole retro muscle car nail right on the head. The width of it, the shape of the grill. You look at a 1970 Challenger, lots of similarities. Now, one thing that's really cool is they had a company here locally make these badges. So you have your red eye badge that actually illuminates, as you can see here on film, and also your SRT badge. Now, SRT is another important name that goes with Mopar, Street and Racing Technology. That is that branch that brought us vehicles like the Dodge Viper, definitely the uh, Demon, the Hellcat, and of course the Red Eye. What's fascinating is a lot of people still dream about that one year only production Demon. This car has more horsepower, because remember the Demon, 840 horsepower. This one has over a thousand horsepower. Now, as we drop down, you can see everything has been left the same with the grill area. They did bring the red LEDs into the bottom section, and then they worked with an organization known as APR Racing they make beautiful, not only beautiful, but functional carbon fiber pieces to help give you performance. So this front splitter, so here's your stock front splitter or lower lip spoiler. This is a true splitter. So the whole point of a splitter is to split the air, to stop air from going underneath the car, gives you more downforce and helps bring more air into the radiator section. Now you can see that this uh, carbon fiber front splitter is fully adjustable on both sides here, that's gonna show its real true performance intentions. Now, as we go up onto the hood, like I said, and as you can see, flat black all the way back, we have the red LEDs on the twin snorkel hood. And this was something that was new with the red eye, bringing this specific hood. If you look at the hood on a Demon, looks different. If you look at the hood on a Hellcat, different look. Remember that Demon, 
I love the name of the hood on the Demon. It's called the Air Grabber. As we come around the bend, you can see the wide body design of the Red Eye. What's really wonderful as well is how the front splitter comes all the way around the corner, as well as your stock front splitter, channeling the air over these massive. So you're looking at a 20 inch wheel and we're talking about 315 width on all four corners, not only out back, but also up front. The flat gray on this just pops perfectly. You can even see the touches. They even went ahead and put that Hellcat red eye on the actual caps for uh, where you put your air into your tires. Just little touches. The red inside the wheel, I really think helps make it pop as well. And then those massive, they, they look like the shoes of Ronald McDonald. Six piston Brembo calipers are gonna clamp down on those rotors. It's a two piece rotor. And what we mean by two pieces, if you notice, I'm gonna have Tom kind of earn his money here. You could see how the hat, which is that black portion, is attached to the rotor. That's a two piece rotor. They're slotted. That's all gonna help with cooling. And it's also gonna help with uh, that rotating mass. It's a, it's a lower rotating mass that'll give you a little quicker steering, which remember, this is a very heavy car and it could use all the help it could get when it comes to steering in the turns. But on the straightaway, watch out. As we go into the fender, strong, powerful lines. You got your Hellcat Red Eye. Lots of Hellcat owners are going out there and buying little black, excuse me, little red plastic pieces to drop into theirs. This is a true Red Eye brought to that extreme level. Other than that, from the side view, looks like your standard Challenger. But what I do love is just like up front, that APR piece, we have the carbon fiber side sills. Now, what I like about them is that they don't just stick out. They actually have a nice little kick up here, and that's gonna help channel the air down the side of the car towards the rear. And then of course, if you're gonna go extreme with horsepower, we gotta have that extreme look as well. The graphics that they put on this fit this car to a T. The outlaw with the black, the red, of course you have that red eye. We get to the back of the car, 315s, unbelievable how at all four corners. And even out back, look at that brake rotor there. That is a slotted rotor. You're getting a four piston Brembo caliper, SRT. What does it stand for? Street and racing technology. Red eye name as we come out to the back. And then to wrap it off, flat black on the trunk lid. And then you're gonna have this nice, it's sort of like a stock trunk lid spoiler on steroids, which this car, it's almost like a red eye on steroids. Wonderful kick up, that beautiful wet weave, carbon fiber. I like the way they got the center area kind of notched out. You drop down and then like I was saying before, that classic Challenger look, it's almost like we've gone back in time and now it's the 21st century. Hellcat badge lights up nice. This is all of course full LED. We drop down and what I love about Dream Giveaway Garage is that they got rid of the um, vacuum cleaner exhaust. So you have these Hurst. That's a very famous name in the muscle car days. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about Hurst a little bit more when we get to the interior, but those are Hurst um, uh, muffler tips, which nice quad look, I think you would agree with me, really shows the performance intentions of this car and a massive rear diffuser also made by APR, that wet weave carbon fiber front to back, this thing has really been balanced out perfectly. But while we go ahead, let's get to the big talking part, point. Let's pop the hood and see the heart of this Red Eye Extreme. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. This is gonna show the whole intentions, Mopar or no car. So what you're looking at underneath the hood is just like the stock Red Eye, you do have a supercharger, though this one has been modified. This is a supercharger that's been put together by Magnuson and it's the Magnuson Vengeance Supercharger setup. It's all gonna be channeled through that ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. We've taken the power, or should I say Dream Giveaway Garage, and Magnuson has taken the power from 797 horsepower up to a thousand, a little bit more than a thousand horsepower on 93 pump octane. That's the best part of this. We're not talking about race fuel or anything like that. At the end of the day, to get the power, if you get the power to the ground, you're looking around zero to 60, right at the 2.9, three second mark, quarter mile in 10 seconds flat. And like I said, Big Daddy Darn Garlitz took this down the quarter mile himself. And you're also looking at over 
203 miles per hour. We're not even gonna talk about MPGs because that's not what this car is about. If you want MPGs, go get yourself a Prius. There's plenty at the local Toyota dealerships. This thing though, like I said, when you look at names, you have that Mopar name, you have Magnuson. When it comes to superchargers, the size of this thing is just ridiculous. And the fact that it fits under a stock hood is even better. You could see the functionality on the underside of the hood, the SRT badge here. And then as we drop down, it's all the little touches. The carbon fiber, look at how the carbon fiber has been brought into the engine compartment, the nice brushed aluminum, more carbon fiber, the Hellcat badge with the red eye there. So you know it's a Hellcat red eye, open uh, air cleaner box. This thing is all about the performance, but if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's fire up this Red Eye Extreme and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, big moment. We are in the Dream Giveaway Garages. Red, red Eye Extreme, that Hellcat Red Eye Extreme. I know you're at the point where usually you ask and I tell you how much this car is. Well, the great news is it's all through their raffle. So you go to the Dream Giveaway Garage website, you get your raffle tickets, and this could be in your garage and turn your garage from a plain garage into a dream garage like that. But let's see what you get if you are the lucky winner now. I like the way they kept it mostly stock with the two-tone, the red and the black, look sharp, that leather material with the white contrast stitching, very nice. And then they decided to bring in some of that Hellcat motif. The carbon fiber from the outside brought in with a little bit of chrome finish. You got the Hellcat red eye there, optional Alpine sound system, which is great. And then if you look on the lower sill area, they did a little dream giveaway uh, set up down there with the carbon fiber, just to remind you every day that, like I said, you win this, you are living the dream. Now, when you get to the interior, you got your SRT badging, and then look who it is. Big Daddy Don Garlitz signed the dash, and he gives you some words of wisdom to live your life by. Sit down, buckle up, and shut up. These are the exact words I used to say to my students at the start of every class, so Big Daddy and I have that connection. Now, when you get to the infotainment setup here, this is that 8.4 inch Uconnect system. You fire it up by hitting the bright red button. Comes to life. What I love about it is you're gonna get all the amenities. You have your AC controls that you can get in, ventilated seats, heated seats, and heated steering wheel. And then of course, what's really, really awesome is you hit that SRT button and that's gonna get you into the settings. You have your different settings, whether track, sport, or you could custom set up to whatever you want. We'll hit the performance pages button, which is gonna take a few seconds to load, but I do like the machined aluminum look that really goes back to that 1970 Challenger. Looks really great and clean. They hit the nail on the head. You drop down, you're gonna have your radio controls, your AC controls, which is nice. And then remember how I told you I was gonna bring up the name Hurst again? Here is an actual Hurst pistol shift grip on that ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. If you go back to the original muscle car days, you could order yours from the factory with that pistol shift grip. The newer ones don't have it, but for the dream giveaway garage, we got the Hurst tailpipe sticking out back, but you also have that grip here. I love the carbon fiber, really, really nice touch. I know you're gonna ask, well, Joe, did they give you the red key? Of course they gave us the red key. SRT, we're unlocking all the power. Finish off with a nice armrest. You open it up, you're gonna get all your connectivity in there. This has been tuned to run, like I said, on 93 pump gas right out of your local gas station. And then the seats, love the red leather. You got the SRT logo. Now the good news about these seats is that they're comfortable. The bad news is if you wanna do any kind of road course work or twisty turns, you're gonna be sliding around like you're sloshing in a, in a bathtub. Uh, that's the challenge with these seats, but they're great for at the drag strip. We go back, it's loaded up. Here's our performance pages. So you have your different readouts here. You could go into gauges. Look at that, trans temp, boost temp, air, fuel ratio, intercooler temperature. You got your G meter. We could go into our engine 
parameters and everything. So clear graphics, all of the tech that you would want at the drag strip. But why don't you go ahead? We've already talked about the side you're sitting on. Come over to my side, the business end. I'll show you what's behind the wheel because we got them. So we're gonna smoke them over here. All right, guys, business end. What I like is if you notice the dream giveaway uh, badging down here to let you know every time you get into this that you are living the dream by having this red eye extreme. Everything else is pretty much straightforward challenger setup in here. So you're gonna have all your power seat controls nice and low down here, that beautiful dark red leather. Same exact steering wheel, good on the thickness. My only zonk for the steering wheel is this flat silver here. It's a little bit on the cheap side. I wish that Dodge or Dream Giveaway could have made like a carbon fiber piece maybe. Paddles, they seem like they're large, but what's weird is, is they're only about half of what they should be. I feel like they should go a little bit longer. But other than that, the way they have the dash set up here, especially with the red gauges, it's got that classic look, that retro look with the technology behind it as well. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna fire it up. I told Tom I wasn't gonna do this, but I figured let's go ahead and do it. There's the red eye logo staring at you. It's ready to bite you right in the neck, that Hellcat. And look at how you have that instrumentation in the center, which is really nice. And you could toggle through a ton of information. Yes, of course, like I said, we have the red key for the ultimate performance. Now, if you're dying to see the back seat or you're dying to see the trunk, I do have other Challenger videos on the channel. This one though, I wanna maximize our drive time. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's smoke them because we got them and take this Red Eye Extreme for a drive. All right guys, we're inside this Red Eye Extreme. Just pulling away from Dream Giveaway Garage. Even if you're gingerly with the throttle, it wants to spin the tires. And that's the thing is that I've always uh, talked about is that you can have a million horsepower, but it's all about getting the power to the ground. They did do some suspension work, which is great to help make sure that you are getting some of that power uh, as much as possible uh, if you're gonna take this to the strip or just have a little bit of fun, uh, fun with it around the uh, local streets where you live. But the great news is with a thousand horsepower, still turns like a kitty cat. So we're just driving down the road here in Wednesday morning traffic and you know what? It's really comfortable. I got ventilated seat on right now. Looks great, feels great. Just like any other Challenger, the visibility out the front is, is wonderful. Back window is great too. You can see that extra kick up from that APR carbon fiber um, trunk lid spoiler. And looking out over the hood, I'm sure you can see in the camera, just seeing the double bulge of those twin snorkels and you know they're functional. That's the best part. There's nothing on this car that uh, is just for show. That's for sure. Uh, when it comes to the performance stuff. Now, obviously, carbon fiber, uh, you know, lower sill panel when you come in the car, you're not really getting much performance, but boy, does it look good. That's for sure. But pulling away from the light, nice and smooth. All right, guys, just to give you the idea of the flexibility of this Red Eye Extreme, we are driving on the highway doing 60 miles an hour and nobody is the wiser really. Besides the graphics on the exterior, you would think this is just a, a Challenger like any other Challenger, uh, but definitely with the graphics, with that twin snorkel hood and everything else, it really screams muscle car performance. With 305s at all four corners, flared fenders and all, we're gonna get to our little fun area. So I'll see you in just a little bit of a second. All right, guys, this car is meant to go fast in a straight line. We found this little area road here. Let's see how we do. I'm in no way trying to break any land speed records or anything like that. And with a thousand horsepower, it's gonna be tough to get that power down. But here we go on throttle. Really thought you hit that supercharger? Oh my God! The shift! Wow. Wow. So you, you hear that supercharger whine, building that boost, instantaneous power, the sound of that exhaust, and I we got traction down pretty good there. Um, we're going to kind of reverse it a little bit. I want to do from a, a an actual dig from a from a dead stop and see how we do instead of a slow roll. That was a slow roll. It helped us in getting the traction down the ground, but 
from a performance standpoint, the sound and everything else, this thing is a muscle car like no other. Go get your Demon. 840 horsepower. Ah. All right, guys, another acceleration from a dead stop on throttle. You smoke them up, smoke them if you got them. Here we go. Get that traction down. <laughs> Wow, the brakes, those two-piece rotors, getting the braking power down. I'm going super gingerly with this thing. With this much power, I'll be honest with you, it's, it's a little scary. It's a little scary, but if you want to do your burnout, really easy to do in this car. Wow, unbelievable. You have to be so gingerly with that throttle, but boy, Smoke them if you got them. And we just smoked a couple packs, plus some. I'm a chain smoker in this car. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, one more time for you. Uh, then we gotta get out of here. But we're gonna do this from a slow roll again. On throttle, here we go. Balancing the throttle out, now we're off. Get ready. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, this thing is on another level. Thank God that the calipers are the size of Ronald McDon McDonald's shoes because it builds speed so quickly, you need to scrub that speed when it's time to slow down. And this thing, wow, unbelievable. Magnuson, that supercharger, that Magnuson Vengeance. Definitely know that, I understand the name of that supercharger now, but Wow. I think one more time. I think one more time and then we need to, we need to get out of here. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, one more time. We're gonna do this from a dig, dead stop. Here we go, on throttle. Spin him up. I'm balancing, I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking that pedal. Here we go. Wow. Wow. This thing is unbelievable. The performance. This is what being a car, a car enthusiast is all about. Uh, I, it's, it's hard to quantify in words, in thoughts, how this car performs. It's that incredible. Now, is it a corner carver? No. Am I rowing through my own gears? No. Do I care? No. It's that much of a performer. And to think that it's on pump gas, and somebody is going to have the opportunity to win this. If you win this, I'm telling you right now, you're a lucky person. Unbelievable. But hopefully, this was able to show you what Dream Giveaway Garage is all about. They're car enthusiasts. It's so cool to talk to Boomer and Lori and everybody else that works there. Blake, uh, they get it. They know why we like cars like this. They know why Rady's Rides exist. And I'm just so glad to have you on on the ride with us but we're gonna wrap this one up and get back to the garage so I'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been a wonderful day here at the dream giveaway garage I definitely gotta thank Lori Boomer and the rest of the crew getting us access to their garage and of course this 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Extreme is this the most extreme Mopar product that we have featured on Radies Rides and that yours truly got behind the wheel of? Yes, without a doubt in my mind. And somebody out there is gonna be very, very lucky and very happy to win this and park it in their garage. But if it's cars like these that you wanna see on the channel where you thought that the factory produced enough horsepower, but then you see something and you want more, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new, to the channel you're on your way out hit the subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radies rise family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel click the link in the description get yourself some radies rise merch got to give it up to big guns mcgee he's loving these muscle cars he's going to get a mopar tattoo right across his back so we'll get that scheduled for you tom and just like always i'll see you on the next ride